I've decided that for the 22 working days of April, I'm going to put myself up for auction. A day of James, where I will do my best to attempt whatever work or challenge they choose to set me. This campaign is to fund the creation of a documentary about the experience. Hey everybody, any contribution that's over £100 automatically wins five minutes of my life. Our last supporter, our last big supporter, my namesake, James, he asked me, with his five minutes of my life, to write a story. A short story for five minutes about Ian McKellen getting pissed off at the fact that his train has been cancelled from one centimetre's worth of snow. So, five minutes. Let's start the timer and we'll see what I come up with. Go! And there we go. <laughs> oh, hello, and welcome to Storytime with James. Today, we'll be reading the epic story, Ian McKellen and the One Centimetre of Snow, by James Hamer Morton. Ian McKellen, Sir Ian McKellen, woke up to a terrible sight. His house had experienced a power cut due to an incredible one centimetre of snow, and all of his clocks had to be reset. Looking at his phone, he noticed it was 8.15, far past his scheduled time to wake up. And he had to be at work, King's Primary School, where he loved his job as a teacher. How he would mock his pupils by shouting, You shall not pass! at them. He rushed out of the door, getting dressed on the way, and attempted to start his car. Bloody hell! he cried, as he realised it was a futile effort. How else could he get to work, the next town over? I know! he cried. I'll try the train! So he ran to the train station, but it was closed. Bloody hell! he recried. This train was the best chance to get to work. Hey, aren't you that actor fellow? No, you're thinking of Maggie Smith. Almost immediately, as he said the name, he realised Maggie had a very successful taxi company. He could call them. Sir Ian noticed that his phone was out of battery, having not had charge all night. Nearby, his friend, Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, resided. Would he allow him to charge his phone? No, he thought. There is only one Lord of the Rings, and it is not Sherpa. How else could he get to work? Only one solution presented itself. He told a moth to summon a giant eagle and flew there, like before. The End Cheers. Mm. So please, every time you share it, every time you tweet the link to indiegogo.com slash bid for my life, every time that happens, you push us forward in the rankings, letting us be exposed to more and more people. So if you can even contribute one pound, that will be a massive, massive help. Thanks a lot. See you next time.